Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Justice Commentary. I am so glad that I am able to tell you that I've got a light. Not the original light from the electrical company, but I've got a solar light. So I'm able to actually brighten up the room so that you could see me much better. Of course, we're going to check out a video entitled Thailand Begins Royal Commissions for the Late King Pumimbol Adulaji. Don't forget, guys, subscribe to Juno Sweet Justice Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Definitely leave a comment below and I try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Let's see. News 24 hours 24 7. Wow. This is beautiful. Wow. Royal coronation for the late King Nibola Bolia Dej. Mourners in Thailand are marking the main part of the five day funeral ceremony. For the country's late king being the bullet bullet. That's the current king, I believe, in the right there. He died in October 2016, aged 88. A series of Buddhist rites began in the royal palace before the royal urn was moved onto a chariot to begin a large procession to the cremation site. The late king will be cremated later on Thursday in a royal fire to be lit by his son, King Mahave Jairal on form. The funeral officially started on wow. Thursday with a merit making ceremony. A Buddhist rite in the Grand Palace. Many buildings in Bangkok sold quarter are draped so his body have been on ice. Are lining the streets for the funeral procession. The chariot carrying the urn in the second part of the funeral procession has been used since the late 18th century. Weighing just under 14 tons, it is being pulled by more than 14 tons. The elaborate ceremony is estimated to have drawn as many as 250,000 people from across Thailand. Wow. Many of the mourners arrived at the capital days ago and waited in the streets overnight for the procession, clutching portraits of the late king. I guess as the soldiers in red. The public holiday, with many businesses shut all day or closing at midday. Members of royal families and dignitaries from more than 40 countries will attend the cremation. King Vajira Longkorn will light the funeral pyre at 2200 hours local time, 1500 hours GMT, and his father's ashes will be collected and transported back to the palace on Friday. Wow. Two more days of ceremonies will follow. The late king was seen as a stabilizing figure in the country hit by cycles of political turmoil and multiple coups. Since his death on October 13, 2016, Thailand has observed a year of official mourning with many people wearing black. Hmm. Preparations for this week's events took almost a year and have included setting up the large cremation complex near the palace. The funeral site features sculptures of mythical creatures and also This is very traditional. Lions very. And elephants. Are they monks? No, but they appear on their heads, so I don't know if they are. The are modeled after the universe and the cremation pyre represents a sacred mountain. The funeral ceremony. That's what the king just for those put on there and they are to take it back off. Which forbids any insult to the monarch. Yeah. Is among the harshest in the world. I like that law. Bangkok's that they punish those who speak bad about the king. You have to respect the highest authority in the land. Most times, they have been asked to dress and behave respectfully. Wow. They are all de dressed differently. You have those in blue, those in red. These are the soldiers, I believe, in red there, lined up. And I guess those that just walk to the king, they are like his guards. Very neat, neat environment. Well kept. And all the monarchs are of course they are in black. So that, the, that these are the people lined up against the wall, the white wall. And on the next side I think I seen persons also.
Yeah, I know she's speaking in Thai. Well, I guess the first guy who spoke translated everything in English. And now she's saying it in Thai. Who's that on there? This is what costs, um, weighs 14 tons. The translator, the narrator said just under 14 tons. That's a lot of tons. Is that the soldiers, I believe? Yeah, in red. And they have a traditional way of doing everything. That is quite unique. Are they paying respect to the king there? Or is this like a routine for the soldiers? And they are in such perfect perfection. I guess every single country or place or people have their different way of doing funerals. Thailand is one of the most extravagant. But then again, this is the king, the great king of Thailand's funeral. It's not a normal funeral. It's like oh, in our country we have the normal funeral and then we have the state funeral is someone um, in leadership position dies or someone who, was, who had a great impact on the country or contributed significantly to the country and the people of the country. Nice weather too. Give it some moment of silence. That picture there. Is that a king I call in gold? I believe they're gonna pull it, right? But I'm confused because they have soldiers on both ends. I don't know they're gonna push it or pull it. But for sure, this thing, it don't look like it had engine in it. So, most likely human. How oh, the videos, the video end. Um, of course, thank you very much for requesting it. I guess I will see what's going to happen because a lot of you requested videos along the line of this ceremony. So, I have a lot more videos to watch in reference to this ceremony. Of course, thank you very much for requesting this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to June Suggest so Commentary. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to video, definitely leave a comment below and I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.